What's going on guys? Welcome back to Talking About Baseball. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but really fast I just wanted to say thank you for everything about the last video. It was my most viewed video by a ton. It got almost 4,000 views. I just wanted to thank you all for that a lot. We got up to 50 subscribers and hopefully the next 50 won't take quite as long. But anyway, we're going to be starting out our off-season content and I am going to be doing a few more things with the postseason before we get too far away from that. But beginning with today, we're going to do a similar thing with the trade deadline where I pretty much just update you every day with what's happening. So let's get started with today, which is November 4th. Starting off, we have Joe Jimenez re-signing with the Braves. They signed him to a three-year, $26 million contract. I think this is a pretty good signature for them. I don't know if he was fully worth the $26 million, as that's about $9 million a year. But he's a solid reliever, and I think he could probably be a great 6th or 7th inning guy for the Braves. Moving on to some Red Sox news, we have Justin Turner declining his player option. I think he can get a, li a little bit more money on the open market. He is definitely an older player, but he continues to prove that he's not declining all that much. Moving on, we have some terrible Cubs, Cubs news that as a Cubs fan, I hate. Cody Bellinger has declined his mutual option and will most likely not be a Chicago Cub in 2024. And Marcus Stroman has declined his almost $20 million player option and he will also most likely not be a Cub in 2024. I'm very surprised that Stroman declined his option, as he was not very good to end the season last year. And I don't really think he's going to find $20 million in free agency. For the White Sox, they have declined Liam Hendricks' $18 million option and Tim Anderson's team option. I think these are very good moves, as Liam Hendricks barely pitched all year last year, and when he did, he wasn't very good. And it was going to be $18 million for a closer who probably wasn't going to play that much yet again for the White Sox. And then Tim Anderson was just absolutely terrible last year. He only hit one home run all season. And then finally for the White Sox, Mike Clevenger has declined his player option. He was actually very solid for them last year. I think he could find actually pretty decent money in free agency. Next up, we have Joey Votto becoming a free agent for the first time. The Reds declined the team option, as I would also decline it, as I'm not trying to pay Joey Votto $25 million to play like trash. But I don't think he'll probably play for any team next year. I think he'll most likely retire or take a much cheaper deal with the Reds. But I don't really see him leaving Cincinnati. And he is the first. this is the first time in his career that he will be a free agent. Next up, we have Eduardo Rodriguez opting out of his contract. He was most likely going to do this anyway. They tried to trade him at the trade deadline, and he used his trade veto on it. So that never ended up happening. And now he's an unrestricted free agent that any team can get him. And if I had to guess, it's not going to be the Tigers. Next up, we have a couple of Dodgers news. The Dodgers are still the Otani favorite, according to multiple MLB analysts. They have extended Max Muncy on a two-year $24 million contract. Max Muncy is kind of like Kyle Schwarber, just slightly worse. He hits for a little bit more contact than Schwarber and way less power, but he still just doesn't. He's a 200 hitter who will put up 30 to 40 home runs for you every year, and the Dodgers need a kind of guy like that to just give them sustained power throughout the year. Clayton Kershaw has become a free agent yet again. He has had shoulder surgery and hopes to pitch in 2024, but he does not know and most likely will not end up signing a contract with the team either. And I think it might just be time for him to be done with baseball. He's had an awesome career. Moving on to the Marlins, Jorge Soler has declined his player option. He will become a free agent only behind Luis Arise, in my opinion. Wade Miley has declined his mutual option, and he will become a free agent after being pretty solid for the Brewers last year. Also, the Brewers have re-signed Colin Ray to a one-year $3.5 million deal with a team option for $5.5 million the next year. And the big news is that the Mets are most likely going to be hiring Craig Council as they've had an interview with him in the past couple of days, and it sounds like he'll most likely be leaving the Brewers to go to New York which has not worked so far outside of 2022, so we'll see if Craig Council can kind of save that team. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be making more videos about the offseason and playoffs coming soon. I'm talking about baseball, and I'll see you next time.